guys, welcome back to the channel. This is a 2020 Mustang EcoBoost. So it's not the V8 unfortunately, but it's a rental car, so what can you expect? So as you can probably tell from the title of this video and maybe the thumbnail, uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna use for that yet. I've been, uh, my uh, BMW was hit. It's nothing too serious, just the rear bumper is damaged. I was just sitting at a red light and somebody in a Mitsubishi Eclipse just rear-ended me. They said their brakes failed. You know, it was a really old car, so I wouldn't be too surprised if that's exactly what did happen. Um, and now it's at a caliber collision and I've got an Enterprise rental car here. So uh, it's what they gave me. They, they tried to put me in a Nissan Sentra because the insurance was trying to be cheap because uh, it's the person who hit me is insurance paying for it. So they're trying to be as cheap as possible. And I just told them, look, I'm not taking that car. I drive a BMW. You're trying to put me in a beater. I, I need something that has, you know, some features. So uh, it's basically this or uh, I was gonna have to pay out some extra money and get an SUV. So this is a terrible car for somebody with kids. But you know, uh, I, we have a minivan also, so I don't have to really drive the kids around in it. The car seat is in it. It's not actually even secured in there. It's just it's just there in case I need it. It's pretty nice though to drive around with the top down and everything. I, I am enjoying this car a lot. It, uh, I've never driven a Mustang. Well, I have driven a Mustang before. Let me take that back. I have driven a must two different Mustangs. I've driven a, a Fox body and uh, from the eight, late 80s and the one that came right after it from the mid 90s. Both of them were six cylinders. They had the four liter from the Explorer. They really were crappy cars. This is a pretty nice car. It's pretty fun to drive. Uh, it's got the 10 speed automatic. Uh, one of the problems with that 10 speed is the gears do kind of tend to hang sometimes, especially in sport mode. It doesn't know quite know what gear it wants to be in or whatever. Uh, it's kind of obnoxious, but it is good. The car is fast, it gets moving. Uh, it does have this like fake exhaust noise coming from behind the steering wheel that sounds like a V8. So I, I really don't even know what the car sounds like. I can hear the turbo coming from the four cylinder when I drive and I can sort of hear four cylinder noises, especially in sport mode, but it's just, it's really weird. It's kind of a bit unnerving. I really wish I could turn that off. So it has this really annoying feature where it won't let you redline at park, but... Uh, other than that, like, you know, uh, it's got heated cooled seats, we've got Apple CarPlay, that's all I really care about out of the infotainment system. I want to have Apple CarPlay and a fairly decent system in case Apple CarPlay isn't working for some reason. I haven't messed around with it because um, I, I didn't really need to. Apple CarPlay's got all I need. There's physical buttons for everything, which is pretty cool. It's got these little switches in the bottom for uh, like the hazard lights, your sport mode, your steering mode, uh, track mode, that kind of stuff. And it, it, it's kind of like a retro thing. Uh, my grandpa used to have a 1969 TR6 that had very similar gauges for like the choke and, and different things like that. So it's kind of a nice callback to old cars. Um, you know, I, I've never been inside any of the old Mustangs, so I don't really know what they were like on the inside. I feel like there is some kind of like, you know, retro themes going on with a lot of this stuff. Uh, it, but it's it's refined. It's much more refined than I would have expected a Mustang to be. But like I said, with like things like the transmission not being decisive, it's kind of refined, but not quite there yet, which is it's kind of weird. But uh, it's, it's a really fun car. And uh, I can't wait to get my car back, my BMW. I've got uh, one mod for it real quick. And I have another video with something else that broke on the car immediately after I got it. And it's not gonna be what you expect. It's a complete freak accident, just surprise. And uh, you'll see that probably in the next video or maybe the video after that, depending on if I do the mods first or uh, cover the other incident that happened with the car. Um, but it's a big deal, so uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.